Hello and uh, welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now this is just going to be a quick setup video. Uh, I've done a few tone arm setups, literally just calibrate, just showing how to calibrate the weight on tone arms. Uh, because they're all slightly different to each other, so they've got their own little quirks, whatever. Um, today I'm going to do a Linitoc, which covers, it's the same setup, so if you've got a Linecos, uh, all the versions of the Itoc and the Ecos are all the same, so uh, th this video will cover all those tone arms. Um, not the basic, not the basic plus the ba LVV or any other, they're all slightly different. Um, it's more similar actually to a Riga Robbie 300 strangely than some of the other some of the other Lynn tone arms. So anyway yeah I'll, um, I'll get set up and uh, just run you through it. So here we've got, uh, this is a Lynn, Lynn Sondek with a, an Itoc LV2 I think it'll be, LV2, yeah LV2. Um, sort of circa mid 80s would have thought. Uh, nice rosewood, actually. It's unusual, unusual finish this one. And just to run through what we've got, the um, I've taken the counterweight off, so the counterweight's down there. So we'll start. We'll start from. We'll start from that position. Quite, quite often, if you have one shipped to you, the, well, it shouldn't have the counterweight on it because if you ship them with the counterweights on, it's um, it can damage the bearings. So uh, hopefully, if, if you have one shipped, the turn on will be, uh, the the arm weight will be off. Uh, we've got a few dials on here. The big dial at the side here, which is your that's your tracking force. And the little dial at the side there, which is bias, or is sometimes confusingly called anti skate, which is a really misleading uh, term. Really. I'll try, try not to use the term anti skate because it suggests it stops tone arm skating, which it's nothing to do with, really. Um, okay, so I'll set the camera up and I'll just go through the, the procedure of how to do it. Actually, before I actually permanently set the camera up, I'll just show you sort of the procedure to go through to get it ready for setting up. What you want to do is set everything to zero. So the weight on the top of here, the um, calibration on the top of here needs to be set to zero. The little dial there needs to be set to zero, or off in this case. And, and also, if you've got one, just remove your stylus guard there as well. Because you don't want to be, when you're calibrating, you don't want to be weighing this. It's, um, we're trying to set the weight at this end, so this doesn't need, you don't want to have that on because that will, be, that will affect the figures. Okay, so now I'm going to set up, now I'm going to set up the, uh, the camera. Okay, so what I've done as well, I've taken the platter off just to stop any sort of excess movement of the, uh, the suspension. Uh, so we've got everything set to zero, set to zero on the bias, set to zero on the uh, on the tracking force. Um, now, we need to put the weight on. Now, the, the weight is sort of, it's not symmetrical, there's a chamfer at the front. So, yeah, chamfer to front. It doesn't actually matter, to be honest. I mean, if you prefer to look at the other way around, you could do, but that's kind of how they came from the factory. Um, now, this always looks a bit scary with these because they're quite they're quite quite a tight fit what i tend to do is hold hold the hold the front of the, of the, the head shell after being careful of the stylus and just move forward now terrible noise is the rubber grommet squeaking on the sort of metal stub of the the arm so you take it a fair way on um i reckon probably about there might be about right so what we're trying to achieve here we've got everything set to zero what we're trying to achieve is zero grams at this end by moving this weight around and you can tell whether when you've got zero grams because when you let go it should just stay where it is now that's heavy to hold the back while we're doing the big movements leave it in the leave it in the armrest move it forward and that's dropping only just dropping but it's dropping so a bit of fine movement just keep hold of it like this now slight movement let go Dropping, so a bit more fine movement. Oops. There you go. Okay, quick, quick cut there because somebody came into the shop. Uh, so yeah, zero weight at this end. So everything's set to zero, and now there's zero weight on there. So you can sort of see that kind of stays where it is. So what, now what we're doing? So on the tracking force dial. We'll move this up to whatever the required tracking force is. Now that these are rated at 1.82 grams, it's an audio Technica VM, VM95 uh, ML. Um, so tend to track these just under the 2 grams. So you turn this up to the 2. Like I say, just under 2 grams. So now that's put the weight on the front. So that we've now got 2 grams on here. Or just under 2 grams. And then you turn this up to the same, same amount. Now you will see this device control generally just fit it to the same amount, adjust to the same amount as here. You will see all sorts of mad things on, on forums and on the internet about how to set this. 
Um, the favourites at the moment seems to be the blank disc method where you have a blank record and you drop the stylus with it turning and it's, you adjust it until it stays in the middle. That doesn't work because there's no friction and it always gives you a much, much lower figure than is correct. To be honest, with the bias stroke anti-skate, um, it's a very indeterminate force really. It's not, there's no, you don't need to have, you know, to the nth degree correct. Um, partly because as the, the arm travels across the record, it, there's, there's a different requirement for bias. There's a different requirement for bias on different programs of music. So if it's a quiet piece or a very loud piece, the amount of bias needed is different. So it, it, isn't a, it isn't a fixed amount, this. You're putting it to an approximation. And the best approximation from experience is always roughly the same as the, as the, as the tracking weight. So don't get lured into this sort of um, internet thing that seems to be uh, seems to be rife at the moment. Anyway, so there we go. We've got the weight set here, everything, and we're all ready to go. There you go. Nice, nicely set at the end there. Okay. Okay, yeah, I uh, hope that was useful. Um, like I say, that covers all the versions of the Itok and all the versions of the Ecos. I'm pretty sure, well, pretty sure all the versions of the Ecos, certainly the ones with the side dial, um, like that's got anyway, it's exactly the same setup. Um, yeah, I'll uh, leave it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us some likes if you, if you, if you do like, in fact. Um, see you in a future video, thanks very much.